Alrighty, we are about to arrive in here, get some meet and greets. <laughs> hey, I'm Double J Jeff Chair, and you are listening to We Are Wrestling. Subscribe and like right now. Right there, just push down, subscribe and like. Double J, Jeff Jarrett, and... The best one, Donnie. What? <laughs> what a slap nut. What is up, we are Wrestling Maniacs. I'm here with my dad. And we are here at the Double Tree Hilton. This is where, you know, the Wrestling Classic 2 is being held. We just got to wait in the line for 20 minutes, and... I got my NXT belt as well. And yeah, we're gonna be meeting some wrestlers. Trying to get as much vlog footage as possible. Alrighty, we are about to arrive in here, get some meet and greets. That is right. Okay, look at that guys. We are in the line. We're gonna be getting some eight by tens. Yes, sir. We are. We're getting full beer. All right, guys, so we are in line for Johnny Wrestling. My name is Johnny Gargano, and you're listening to or We're kind of watching right now. Give it a yeah, video. watching, yeah. yeah. We're watching it. Yeah. You're watching. We are wrestling. I appreciate that. Oh, thanks, dude. Appreciate it. <laughs> and what was your name? Oh, Don. Don? Nice Donnie. to meet you, Don. Oh, Donnie, there you go. Yeah. You want me just to sign it, right? Yeah. yeah. Been a big fan of yours for NXT. Thank you, this man. Even to this day, still. Thank you, man. Thank you. Let's not. Thank you. 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 Thank
think it was about like 20 minutes. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. I remember um, watching you back at the TNA um, house shows yeah? back then. Yeah. You know, I did a lot of shows in Mass. I I did uh, big time wrestling in Chicopee, Massachusetts. We yeah. did Chicopee a lot. Chicopee, oh yeah. 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 How about we go right here, Don? Yeah, right there. Deal in. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was my favorite faction in the Attitude Era. Nation Damn Domination. Right. That's right. Loved it. That's right. Same with APA, too. Yeah, yeah. See, they should have kept that one going, though, Don, you know? No. They should have. You should have been the leader. That's right. <laughs> Hey, I'm Double J, Jeff Chair, and you are listening to We Are Wrestling. Subscribe and like right now. Right there, just push down, subscribe and like. Double J, Jeff Chair, and... The best one, Donnie. What? <laughs> what a slap nut. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. That was a pretty good yeah, plug for you, man. That was, man. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> He got your money for the plug, right? Yes. For the plug? Oh, how much for the plug? Oh, 500. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's what I did. Get out of here. I'm not yeah, the only TNA show, yeah, yeah. the live events, you, you they used to have like the guitar and like that's like how you would get like the VIP yep. for that. When there you I was go. younger. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I think you were doing the MMA gimmick at the time. Oh yeah? I do, you yeah. Another one. yeah. I'll do uh this one. Yeah. Who's this two? Two Don. Same thing. Yep, same thing. But yeah, my favorite work from you is definitely TNA with the King of the Mountain matches. There you go. Loved it. Because on my talk show recently, too, we just did like a ladder edition where we talked about like the best ladder matches. And I, like I brought up the King of the Mountain ladder match. Right out. Because I feel like it's so underrated. What is up? We are Wrestling Maniacs. We're just leaving here right now. We are going to be coming back from Maven. He's in traffic right now in New Jersey. Really want to meet the guy, but they said it's going to be probably another half hour. Did you just say no Maven? What yeah, twenty about 20 minutes. But yeah, so we're going to be waiting on that. We did meet everybody else that we wanted to meet. No. Pretty cool. No Rock yeah, Rakishi, guys. I was so disappointed. I guess the promoter freaking screwed him over, so it was, like, not under his control, so he couldn't make it, which disappoints me because I was at the Showcase of Legends. If you haven't checked that vlog out, check it out. And I could have met Rakishi there, but I was like, I'm going to wait until the Wrestling Classic 2. And now I missed out on Rakishi. That's tough. I definitely learned my lesson from that. But, yeah, so right now... um. Pops and I, we're going to be going to grab a bite in this area, and then we're going to come back and meet Maven. So guys, like, wow. So we found a Ruby Tuesday right next to this hotel, and I've not had Ruby Tuesdays, I want to say maybe six years now, since they closed where I live. This is going to be awesome. 20 minutes later. So we just got out of Ruby Tuesdays. And it's not the same that it once was when I was a kid. So I will not be coming back here. <laughs> now we got to go back to the thing and we're going to go meet Maven. It was a lot of hard work and a lot of legwork finding out the real person because very few people saw it. In public, his wife uh, ordered food at restaurants, uh, gas stations, you know, his own grandchildren. <laughs> There's Dink, he's going to doink. <laughs> there is Maven. Let's go. Maven's got the Hornswoggle shirt on. <laughs> 
Alrighty, so we got to meet Maven, and I guess we just found out that John Silver was actually here. They never announced it or anything. I'm a little disappointed because I've been wanting to meet Johnny Hungy for a while, but hey, it is what it is. But um, yeah, I will see you guys back at Best One Studios to show you guys what I got at the Wrestling Classic. What did you think about the Classic? Ooh, yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely not as good as the first one, but it was still all right, though. We still got to meet some really cool legends, and especially Johnny Wrestling, which was really cool. But yeah, I will see you guys back at the studio to show you guys what I got. We are back from the Wrestling Classic 2, and wow, what a insane weekend we had. We had the Wrestling Classic 2, then right after that, we went over to Danbury, Connecticut for Northeast Wrestling. And it was just a great weekend overall, which the Northeast Wrestling vlog should be out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. We have just lots of vlogs, just we're shooting content out for you guys. We're finally caught up, but um, now... I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Wrestling Classic 2. But, my overall thoughts on the event. I thought that it was a really cool event. I liked how they had it more spread out at this one. Because before, it was very crowded. And I think that's because they had more talent at the other one than, you know, the second Wrestling Classic. But the only thing I was a little disappointed on was not getting the opportunity to meet Rikishi. And a lot of people, I think, did not. This is why the turnout didn't come out. It was still a great turnout, but it wasn't as good as the first turnout, I think, because of what happened with Rikishi. And if you're watching this, I just want you guys to know that this is not Rikishi's fault or the guy who put this whole cl wrestling classic event together. Captain's Corner, it's not their fault at all. It was the promoter that, you know, was advertising Rikishi to come to this. And I just don't want people to be, you know, blaming Captain's Corner for this. It was not under their control or Rikishi's during it. And for that, I understand. So, you know, moving forward, I already know, like, I'm going to hopefully get the opportunity to meet Rikishi sometime soon. And overall, though, besides that, it was a great event. I still got the opportunity to meet some awesome legends and wrestlers that... I really never thought would actually come to this area, and that's the thing I really appreciate so much about Captain's Corner, is that, you know, this guy is putting in the work. He is grinding non-stop 24 hours a day, you know, trying to give us the best wrestlers all around for us to get the opportunity to meet, because we don't have wrestling conventions like this friggin' in our area. And for me, I had to go to Showcase of Legends all the way out in Albany, which was about two hours away from me, compared to driving literally 20 to 30 minutes, which I really hope we get more friggin' wrestling classic classics, because I absolutely love these conventions. And, you know, shout out to one of the We Are Wrestling Maniacs that actually recognized me from one of my vlogs, I got the opportunity to meet a fan, which I never thought would ever happen in my freaking YouTube career. So motivating, and if you're watching this, <laughs> next time we need to get a picture together, because man, if you see me, guys, at an event or something, I am more than friggin' welcome to take a picture with me. And I will not charge you or anything, because I love the We Are Wrestling Maniacs. But, um, yeah, so... Let's talk and let's um, show you guys what I ended up getting. So, the first thing we got was some free pantlets. They show some upcoming autographs around the area. They show the Steiners Brothers, one right there. Dan Housen, which he's going to be coming to Zombie Hideout, which will be cool. Kurt Angle, who I already got the opportunity to meet. And then Warlow, which this one is on June 25th, which is very tempting. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to go to this one yet. All depends on what's going on that weekend. But it's very tempting because I love Wardlow. But, um, yeah, so the first thing I want to show that I didn't get the Wrestling Classic came in the mail um, literally when I got home from the wrestling night I had. I got freaking WWE Legend Series 14 Elite Edge. I can't wait to put this on my Attitude Era shelf. 
But now, here we go. Now we're going to get into the wrestling classic. So, at this booth, they had some WWE figures. And I ended up getting one for my Ruthless Aggression collection. And that is Triple H. That's right. This is around the time that Triple H was wearing the biker shorts. This was, I believe, during SummerSlam 2003. It's got the World Heavyweight title, the Sledgehammer, the Bottled Water, and the Interchangeable Hands. I could not say no to this for $25. So yeah, I ended up getting Triple H for my collection as well. And this one's a really cool item as well. I also got a figure signed at this one. I was not expecting to get a figure signed, but I saw this and I could not say no to it. It's one of my favorite freaking knockouts of all time, Velvet Sky. That's right, they had um her friggin' Jack Pacific, you know, Impact Wrestling figure. This was, I believe, Series 11, Velvet Sky. I remember having this figure loose for years, and now I actually got this figure signed, and it's very good condition, the box and everything. And Velvet Sky was so friggin' nice. I actually got to meet her a few times back at the old TNA Wrestling Live events that they would put on around my area, and TNA was so good with the live events, so I, I got the opportunity to meet her a few times at those, but it was really cool to get to meet her again. Very happy about having this, and I can, you know, add it to my new set, which will be awesome. Now, I'm going to show you guys all the freaking 8x10s that I ended up getting at this event right here. And I'm also going to show you even a couple of them that I actually got at Northeast Wrestling as well. So, here we go. I've seen this guy a few times at the, you know, conventions. I got to meet the actor that plays the Iron Sheik in the series Young Rock, Brett Azard. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. But he was really cool. I decided to go with that because I do watch Young Rock when I get the chance to. And I figured might as well this time around because, you know, he keeps coming around the area. The next one I got the opportunity to meet was Dink. That's right. Dink and Doink the Clown. It was really cool. And in case you guys don't know, I actually uh, met Doink the Clown at Zombie Hideout. I didn't really vlog that one because it was just like one of those quick meet and greets. But I did meet Doink at Zombie Hideout. But they announced Dink was going to be here and I couldn't say no to it. So I got this 8x10 with both of them. And it was so cool meeting Dink because for me, my favorite moment with Doink the Clown, it was definitely the Survivor Series 1994 with, um, yeah, Jerry Lawler and, you know, all the little, <laughs> all the little kings versus Doink and all the little clowns. And I thought that was one of the funniest comedy Survivor Series matches of all time. Allison K. That's right. I remember her work mostly in Impact Wrestling around like 2016, 2017. And I've always been a fan of her and it was really cool that she, you know, went to this convention. Finally got the opportunity to meet her. And also I got the opportunity to meet her tag team partner as well, Marty Bell. I also remember her a lot from her Impact Wrestling work. I loved the dollhouse stuff that she did with um, Taryn Terrell and um, Mia Yim, who was going by Jade at the time. So it was really cool that I got to actually meet Marty Bell, her tag team partner. They're absolutely killing it in NWA, which is always good to see. Women's wrestling is right now doing incredible. Does a She wrestles here and there on AEW Dark. Layla Gray, I've seen her at a few conventions as well. And I finally decided to get the opportunity to meet her. And she was super nice. I believe she right now is the o OVW Women's Champion. Which I can't even believe OVW is still a thing though. But Layla Gray was very nice. The next wrestler we got to meet, he was at both the Wrestling Classic and Northeast Wrestling. I finally got the opportunity to meet Jay Lethal. That's right. I actually did meet him at an Impact Wrestling Live event, but it was only I was only able to get an autograph. I could not get a photo. Don't know why, but hey, I got a photo with Jay Lethal and an autograph. And I actually got to see him wrestle Malachi Black, which will be in the vlog tomorrow. Jay Lethal was so cool. I was actually going to get a shout out from Jay Lethal, but unfortunately with AEW, with um, 
they have like a PA rule basically where like you have to go through AEW in order to get stuff like that to happen. Same with like podcast interviews and stuff. But Jay Lethal was so cool about it. Like he actually took the extra time to like he wanted to know what my channel was and he was he told me that when he was on the road to Northeast Wrestling he was actually going to check it out and watch it which was very nice of Jay Lethal. He did not have to, you know, take the extra time to, you know, talk to me. It meant a lot to me and definitely will go down as one of my favorite meet and greets. Moving on now to the next one. This one was I was very excited about and I couldn't believe it. He had no line when I was there. I was completely shocked about this. I got the opportunity to meet one of the four horsemen, Tully Blanchard. That's right. I decided to go with his 8x10 of him with the NWA Television Championship. And wow, man, Tully Blanchard, such an honor to meet this legend. I've always loved, you know, the Four Horsemen and um, the Brain Busters as well, his work with Arn Anderson, and even an AEW with the Pinnacle and FTR. I've been loving Tully Blanchard's work, and I even told him as well when I met him that um, his daughter, Tessa Blanchard, she's one of my favorite female wrestlers, and I really hope that one day, you know, she can make it on to AEW. But yeah, Tully Blanchard was so nice, one of the coolest guys. Then, I got the opportunity to meet Farouk, Ron Simmons, um, one half of the APA, the former leader of the Nation of Domination, and man, it was such an honor meeting Ron Simmons, such a nice guy, and yeah, I decided to go with his Nation of Domination, 8x10, that was my favorite, um, Farouk. The Nation of Domination, for me, was actually my favorite faction in the Attitude Era. He was the headline of this cla wrestling classic event, Jake the Snake Roberts. That's right, I was so excited to meet Jake. I never got the opportunity to meet him, and it's so good seeing him healthy and happy. And Jake was really cool, you know, got to shake his hand, got to get my autograph, got the photo, moved on. But man, this is such a cool 8x10. I got him with the snake. Such a cool, oppor such a cool opportunity that I got to meet him. Then the next one, this one probably was one of my favorite meet and greets of the day, hands down. And that was meeting... Jeff Jarrett, guys. I got two 8x10s for him because, you know, I love Jeff Jarrett's work his entire career. So the first 8x10, I decided to go with his Double J character, the Double J, and this is such a cool 8x10. I love how Captain's Corner, man, they have these such classic 8x10s. They're so cool inside my wrestling book. And, man, Jeff Jarrett, just, I'm so blessed, you know, I got, I, because I met him before at a TNA Live event, I was very young at the time, and it was very, like, okay, you gotta get yourself signed, moved on, but I really had that one-on-one -on -one interaction with him, and it was such an honor. And I also decided to get the TNA 8x10 as well because I freaking loved his work in TNA with the King of the Mountain ladder match and the NWA title. I freaking love Jeff Jarrett so much. And he even gave We Are Wrestling a shout out. He didn't have to go out of his way to do that. It meant so much to me because I always looked up to Jeff Jarrett so much. One of my favorite wrestlers of all time. What a slap nut. I got to meet um, Dr. D, that's right, I got to meet Dr. D, um, a lot of people definitely remember him from, you know, his work on um, the whole slap in the face with that reporter, they did a whole episode on Dark Side of the Ring, but man, he was really cool to meet him, and it's always cool to meet like a legend that respects the business, the business that we love, so I definitely, you know, couldn't say no to that. Now, the next one that I got to meet, this one, um, he was running very late, so I left the convention, went and grabbed lunch, and then I went back to meet him. I got the opportunity to meet Tough Enough Season 1 winner, Maven. And this one, I was so excited. Like, he was probably one of my friggin' good, one of my really good meet and greets, because, like, he really took that extra time, 
even asked me about the We Are Wrestling talk show channel. I probably should have asked him to do a shout out, but the line was a little too long because people were obviously waiting for him. And I didn't want, you know, to take up any time from the people behind me. So I just had him, you know, sign and then me and him talked for a little while and he was such a cool guy. And next time I go to this uh, and I, if Maven is around the area, I am bringing my hardcore championship because I regret not bringing it to this event. But there it is, guys. I got the Maven 8x10. And now the last one at the Wrestling Classic. This one, I am so... I was so excited when they announced this because I was going to go all the way out to New Jersey at this um, Wrestling Universe store to meet this guy. But then, you know, the Wrestling Classic, this was the last announcement. And I got to meet one of my favorite NXT wrestlers of all time. Johnny Takeover, baby. Johnny Wrestling. I am so excited that I finally get to say I met him. He's wrestled so much in the area before making it on NXT, but that was around the time where I didn't really go to live events that much, so I never really, you know, got to see Johnny wrestling until NXT. But man, he was so freaking cool. The line wasn't even that long for him, so I even got him to do a shout-out for the We Are Wrestling talk show. And... Me and him just were talking for a little while, and it was really cool. Johnny Wrestling Man, one of my favorite meet and greets, easily. Such a nice guy. So we have um, three more 8x10s. These I got signed at Northeast Wrestling's event, which that vlog will be out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. So here we go. So the first one I got the opportunity to meet... She is a up-and-coming female wrestler, Ashley, that's right. Ashley, I think, um, San Antonio. She wrestled Scarlett at this event. They put on a pretty good match, and she was very nice. I got to meet Channing Thomas. He's an up-and-coming guy as well, and I really think that Channing Thomas has so much potential to definitely make it into, you know, he was he's going to get signed somewhere. His work is absolutely amazing, and he was the guy, actually, that um, did that open challenge thing at the WrestleFest vlog where Jon Moxley made that surprise appearance. That was the guy that wrestled him, and he was really cool. While everybody was in line for Jeff Hardy, who I already met as Zombie, I was talking to Janet Thomas for a good, like, five minutes, and he was really freaking cool. And now, the last 8x10. This one, I marked out when I met him. I didn't even know what to say to this guy. I met Killer Cross! This is one of the guys I've been wanting to meet for the longest time since I saw his work in Impact Wrestling. I love the whole, you know, Killer Cross character. Love the, how he had the cards with the X. I was telling him about that. He was, you know, getting a kick out of it. And man, Killer Cross has been one of my favorite guys. And it's so annoying how WWE freaking misused him. Really pissed me off, but now he's out doing his thing. So happy I got to meet him. I actually got to meet Scarlett at Showcase of Legends. But um, yeah, I finally got to meet Killer Cross, and I'm very happy. Such a nice guy. But now the last item that I want to show you guys. You guys saw the video of my unboxing for this championship, and I already told you what I was going to do, and I did it! So we got here my NXT championship, looking very beautiful. And I got some signatures on this championship. So here it is, guys. We got Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Takeover to sign this belt. And we got friggin' Karrion Cross to sign it on this side. And then on this side here, we got to get Malachi Black, which he signed it as um, Alistair Black. They all held this championship. And it's really cool that I'm able to get three signatures on this championship all within one day. Such a cool, you know, item to have in my collection. And I really hope I get to meet Keith Lee and other guys that held this NXT championship. And I also have the original one, which I would love to get Seth Rollins to sign that belt. But, um, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Wrestling Classic 2 vlog. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button now. If you're not a We Are Wrestling Maniac yet, if you're not a part of 
the thousands of subscribers. Hit that subscribe button now. Turn on the post notifications. The videos are coming out of nowhere like a goddamn RKO. Links down in the description below. You can go follow me on my social medias. Go subscribe to my two other channels, DBTV, nothing but basketball content. And of course, Best One Network, do vlogs, do other kind of content on there. All the links are down in the description box below. But of course, to all the We Are Wrestling maniacs out there worldwide, we are taking over. Peace.